Hello and welcome back to this Trails in the Sky third chapter. Let's play with me, SLJ RPG. In the last episode, we did a nice little walk through Gana or Hell and met some of the people that Kevin had destroyed as a heretic hunter. But we've come here at what seems like a going to just before a major event because there was a whole point here. So I think without any further ado, let's just go. Oh god. Oh, we're at an exit. Or is that an exit? Are we so sure? The gates of Gehenna. Those gates are distorted by the steadfast, serving to keep the living and the dead apart. Yeah, they're accurately realized for sure. Too bad the testaments don't give us any clues as to how two of us can force them open. Nor do you have any chance of doing so. Who was that? About time. Of course. A pleasure to see you again, Kevin Graham. I never thought I'd have the pleasure of meeting you face to face again. Certainly not a place bedecked with so many delightful peculiarities. I figured you might show up eventually. With this place being full of people I killed, you were in your ugly head it was always a given. Who is he? He's the biggest sinner the church has ever been unfortunate to have in their ranks. The Bishop of the Congregation of Sacraments, who became an angry as an Oberos. George Wiseman, the demon I put to an end half a year ago. Uh, that's him? No discerning your identity truly, my careless blunder. My most careless blunder. I never suspected the beast before me would be the one to inherit the long vated position of the Fifth Dominion. Life does, do, does so love its surprises, doesn't it? Well, when I was at the point, me being a Dominion was deliberately, deliberately kept secret so I could serve as one of the Congregation's trump guards. Of course. <sighs> Too sad in the open now, but that's a fair enough price to pay if it means you're dead. The Congregation always cunning bunch. They created such an elaborate scheme just to take out a little poor me. Was the pen conceived shortly after your stigma first manifested? No, I'm sure it was. After all, I was merely biding your time till they could make your move. With the Dominion, the salt player, the carefully designed game plan on their side, the odds of me escaping with my life were woefully slim indeed. You're about right about how cunning they are. In that sense, you're probably just as right as when you called me a damn dog. I was fine with being that way too. How respectable of you. I admit I am astounded. I carried out plenty of my own research on stigmas and their capabilities, but I had no idea Jennings' article was capable of quite this much. What are you talking about? I suspect deep down you already know the answer, but it's my desperate, deepest pleasure to elaborate. The Gehenna in which we stand is a reflection of your latent desires that you already know, but more specifically, the cause of this is your stigmata. Huh? What do you mean? After Elio's disappearance, Phantasma was thrown into a state of great confusion. After all, Phantasm was the Ariel's subsystem. Without the Ariel to control it, it was like a ship whose captain suddenly vanished, lost. To calm its own confusion, Phantasma sought a new master who could take control of the place of the Ariel to control it. Specifically, it chose the person with the deepest trauma from among those to clone to the Ariel when it vanished. <sighs> Decisions made, it found the stigma that existed deep within you and made a copy of itself within it. The stigma that manifested from your latent desire, Gehenna, here in Phantasma. And this out both of this, the Lord of Phantasma, came into existence. Uh, Kevin. Well, I suppose it's enough explanation for now. Now we're clear of all the confusion, I have a proposition for you. One that will allow you to resolve all of this without a single loss of life. A tantalizing prospect, no. You can do that? Really? It's quite simple. You need energy to cast away humanity. Nothing more. Ugh. Ugh. Your stigma rests in the ashes from immense despair and guilt. What better way to deal with the situation to become a being that is not burdened by such worthless emotions? To become a truly self-supporting superhuman capable of controlling every facet of themselves? Ugh. You're insane. That's no way for people to live. Yet it's the goal I obsessively pursue in life, life and death alike. My research into stigmas was one, but one part of my efforts to achieve it. My efforts with Joshua may not have borne fruit, but you, you're certainly very close to reaching it. And once you become superhuman, you'll be able to fully control your stigmata and emerge as the new Lord of Phantasma. Silence, Faceless. Stop trying to deceive them with your forked tongue of yours. I am doing no such thing. I only presented a modest proposal at best. Not one, what I've said, not one word of what I've said is a lie. I swear it. 
You could argue that I may feel resentment towards him for being instrumental to my death, but at this point that matters little to me, eventually pales in significance to my seeing my long cherished ambition realized. I abandoned the church's teachings and joined Albrecht in the pursuit of creating a superhuman, and now I finally can. You're insane. It's all right, Risa. You don't need to keep defending me. Kevin. I'm glad to see you understand me. I always knew you would see sense in the end. It's hard to disagree with this fact that I need to be stronger than I am. It was my weakness and my cowardice that led to taking Rafinha's life in my own hands. It was my weakness and cowardice that led to rejecting mom and allowing, <sighs> allowing her to die. And now it's the same two quantities that have led Reese and the others getting drawn into this mess to suffer. All these things are on me. All of them. But... You're absolutely right, but there's no need to despair any longer. You have it in you to overcome such weaknesses. Follow the path I've opened you, and they will be a thing of past, a mere memory. That's one option, sure, a good one, too. But sorry, it's not like I'm gonna be picking. It's, sorry, it's not the one I'm gonna be picking. Hmm. I'm even more of a loser than I figured. Even now, I just can't bring myself to forget the taste of chocolate I had that day. What? When Rafini and Rise found me, I was crushed beyond measure. I thought I'd never be able to stand up against the old and overcome. Jesus, guys, I've drunk like two cups of coffee today. Why am I groaning? Um, and overcome the despair I felt. That's why I bitter yet sweet taste left such a strong impression on me. It's why it gave me the strength to move forward, even knowing how many hardship to wait in. Because for every hardship, there'll just be as, a, as much joy waiting for me. Kevin. So sorry, Faceless. This thing ain't gonna work out between us. <laughs> Very well. I'm not about to force you to change your mind. But let's see how far your prophetic sentimentality will take you when your lives are placed in mortal peril, shall we? <laughs> of course. We knew this was coming. There's two of these things. Okay. Two of these fuckers. No. Our Sade and Rostrum. We have to face both the Guardians of Good and his gates at once for this round, huh? You may be in a minute, but you even know you realize you don't stand a chance of winning here. Not even. You have to worry about the girl with you. Well, any second thoughts? Don't you dare listen to him, Kevin. I'll be fine. Don't let worrying about me stop you from doing what's right. Well, you're right about our chances of winning. Two high-rocking devils, and against just the two of us. <sighs> oh my god. Things ain't looking so good. At least, that was before I knew I'm not the man I once was. What? Yeah! Yeah! Super Kevin. Kevin loved the aircraft, the Spear of Air, the Space Animal Tower, the hits all foes on the field, and especially effective against devils. Yes. Well, impossible! What is that? This is the other side of my stigma. It's the light side. It's been there all along. I was just never able to see it. To now. How can this be? I seem to owe you for a word of thanks, Faceless. Turning down the deal you threw out has finally allowed me to gain a little confidence in myself. As a token of my appreciation, you can be the first one to see what it can do, as it's leak do. I always knew you're nothing more than a dog. Fine, have it your way. There's so much difference, you change your color really makes it against such overwhelming odds. I welcome you to try. Okay. Where's Wiseman? Slays foes with immense strength. Wields magical power. We'll do a heaven sphere, why not? This is a definitely a difficult proposition. Undeniably so actually. With, uh, with just two party members, but so be it. Rain lightning, okay. But we can go a critical spear there. Fly forth the spears of heaven, and we get a critical one as well. Ooh. I will take that, you know. I will take that. Uh, let's do a another dimension. Oh, 
but uh, thankfully we get the heal there in clutch time. Oh dear lord, okay. I want to heal. Uh, I need to at least take something. Okay, there we go. Because, yes, I knew that was coming. But we get a heal here, and that we should be okay. Now, whatever this attack is, it's going to allow me to do a, another Spears of Earth. So let's just go ahead and do that. Because that was so fucking powerful. Holy shit. Against these. As one is dead. Two is dead. Nice. Okay. We're just going to heal. And then we should just be able to go like this. As Rise sees him off this time. Nicely done. Easy money. Holy shit, that thing's apparent. We get a Zerum capsule as well. Well done. But as long as Phantasma exists, I will never die. I'm always be watching you from somewhere, Kevin Graham. Watching to see how long you can, can continue desperately play, play, play tough before accepting the reality around you. <laughs> okay. Desperately play tough, huh? I wish I could disagree. What do you mean? Kevin. How are you? Are you alright? I'm fine. I think I just overdid it some. Again. I'll be okay though. I won't flop over like I did last time I pulled this. Not after I made my mind up to finally face Rafinha head on. Good. Shall we might have beaten him, but we're not really in the best situation here, are we? How are we even supposed to get that door open? I don't think we're enough to get it to budge. Yeah, but we come this far, we can't give up. Then we're gonna have to destroy it. As usual, your mind is is at least we try something else before resorting to rampant destruction. Besides, I think they get the most important to find a structure down here, which makes this replica a Gehenna more than anything. I can't see it being very easy to destroy. Hey! Sounds like... Is this a joke? <laughs> I've never been so happy to see someone in my life! And once again, you go out of your way to defy logic. We found you in some weird ass places, but this one has gotta be the weirdest of them all. How did you get down here? Its presence is more than a little suspicious. You're not working with Lord of Phantasma, are you? The Lord of what's it? No, forget it. I don't have time to chit chat. We need to run. Now, or we're done for. Huh? What's that? Roaring and flapping winds, a lot of them. <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay. Are those devils? They're not as high rank against the two we just beat, but they're no slouches. Uh, we're supposed to take on this many at once. Do something! This is your responsibility! I don't want to die! Not here! And I think we do? I sure don't. Damn it. I used too much of my stick with power. Now at least try and give these two an opening to get away. Stay back! Stay back, Kevin! I don't think we got much of a choice here. Oh. In comes the power team. We say, are you okay? Thank goodness we made it. What is this place? Hell? Oh, it looks like a rep one of one replica again. Or my compliments to the designer. Nice to see you two hanging in there. I can see we're in for a fun time. What the hell is Gilbert with you? You guys? Why? After you fell down, Celeste was gracious enough to search for your location. Thanks to you having the cube with you, we were able to find it. She finished connecting the path here only a moment ago. The door will take you back to the garden. Really? We appreciate it. I can't believe my luck. Anyway, we ain't taking can't decide to later. We'll charge with our snow opening in their ranks. You take the chance to break through and get through to the gate. Thanks. Trudy, thank you. Shall we begin? A mastering dance with the devil's awaits. Righteous shall be righteousness shall be victorious. Fall before the blade of Vander. Let's do this! Right!
Yeah, we have not killed right now. <laughs> is, is that is that the plan? As actually, there we go. We have an end of this chapter. If you guys have enjoyed this, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time on Trails in the Sky, third chapter. Peace.